This is why you're hungry and tired all the time. When you eat food, that raises your blood sugar levels. Everybody's blood sugar levels raise differently and different foods have a different effect on your blood sugar levels. If you eat this pizza and pop, somebody's blood sugars may raise to here, somebody else's might go up to here, and somebody else's may go all the way up here. The higher that blood sugar goes, the more insulin will be needed to bring that glucose all the way back down. So much insulin needs to be released to bring this blood sugar back down that you end up crashing right afterwards. It's this glucose crash after your meal that makes you hungry after you eat. This is where your body starts to to freak out and you start to crave processed carbohydrates in order to bring that blood sugar back up from the crash. There is no amount of willpower and discipline that can stop those intense feelings. Now if we have a meal like this that has some healthy fat and protein as well as loads of fiber, you won't get that blood sugar spike nor will you crash afterwards. This will keep you feeling full longer. Now you can do this by eliminating carbs, but I don't like to eliminate carbs. So the other key is fiber. Fiber helps us control how much blood sugar will be released into the bloodstream. Two exact same meals. One has the fiber and the other one doesn't. Look at the effect on the blood sugar levels. You don't have to go keto or low carb or God forbid count calories. Fiber will act as out of portion control and keep you feeling full longer. 